welcome back to Mars Horizon, folks. We are ready to start planning our maneuvering evaluation, and we have a mission slot open. So let's do the maneuvering evaluation. Now, the maneuvering evaluation is a joint mission, right? Uh, at the moon. No, at Earth. Yeah, at Earth. We do get science for it. And we also get support. All right. So if we take a scientist and maybe a bootstrapper and a test pilot. Let's try that for now. We don't really need the test pilot, do we? Uh, I think I'd rather have... Hmm. Actually, I think I'd rather have an electrician. Yeah. So scientist, bootstrapper, and electrician. Our launch reliability is pretty okay. Our payload reliability, though, is horrible. So I'm actually thinking that we do payload reliability training. And then we go in April to get our payload up to a decent level. So that'll take it to 75. Let's confirm that. And then... What's this mission we have here? I think it would be kind of nice if you hovered over something, you could see what mission it is. So, because I don't know what mission it is that we have going here. Uh, off the top of my head. Uh, Saturn flyby, Jupiter flyby... I guess it's the Saturn flyby, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. There's something going out here. It's going way out of screen, though. All right, well, we have a new request mission on Mars. Polar analysis. No support penalty for failing missions. That's not half bad. But we don't really do fail missions very often. Uh, it's not a bad mission. It gives us decent Mars experiment uh, experience. Uh, what do we have on Earth? This orbital way station, though, is quite nice. It gives a lot of support and a lot of science. Rendezvous attempt. We don't really need money right now. Solar wind monitoring. That just sucks. We have the maneuvering evaluation on going. Then we have this diplomatic mission with Japan. 2200 sirens over 25 months. Some support. Supplementary boosters have no build time. Okay. What is our standing with Japan? We're neutral. So we could increase our relationship with Japan. That might actually not be a bad idea. It won't take us up to the next tier, but it'll start us going there. But I do like the orbital way station. I like the science. Hmm. Let's do the orbital way station. We'll take some extra crew, I think. Hmm. 
Yeah, let's take some extra crew. And we'll build that payload. Alright. Uh, I guess it's next month. We have funding review in one month. We have not passed for another tier. We're way off passing up to another tier. That's okay, though. All right, butter review. Uh, we do go get up to the 50,000 mark. So we get a bit of extra funds. Not bad, not bad. And this month we, next month we complete uh, the Uranus flyby research. Uh, is anything going on? We completed the space telescope first, of course. Which was nice. What's our milestone challenge now? Finish third or above in four milestone missions. We've done one. Mission research cost for six months. Now that's quite nice. And that's quite nice. Uranus flyby research is complete. Which means... I think that we start on the next phase of the modular space station. Or do we do we want to go with some vehicles maybe? Or some buildings. Hmm. Proves launch reliability when placed next to a medium or large launch pad. Okay. That's not bad. It's expensive though, both construction cost and research. Mobile launch platform, minus 10% vehicle build cost. That's not bad either. Conference center, plus 10% rewards from joint missions, plus 25% contractor positive effects. Mission control expansion. Now that's kind of interesting. It'll take a long time to research, but I think it's worth it. Change the research, get some more missions going, and be happy about that. Yeah. Okay, we're launching maneuvering evaluation in two months. China's launching Mars Lander in three months. Uh, Mars Lander, we already did that a long time ago. Did that in 1976. We did that five years ago. We did that five years ago. All right, we are ready to launch our maneuvering evaluation. It's pretty reliable. All right, the weather is looking terrible. Bad conditions. We have three astronauts on board. Uh, Let's reschedule for May. And continue on. Orbital Way Station payload is complete, and we have a payload reliability of 80%. Not bad. All right, let's try this launch again. Weather is looking good. Adequate conditions. That's fine. 6% risk of going boom. Let's do this. Look at that beautiful shuttle. I do like the shuttle. I like the European shuttle actually quite a lot. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking good. We are out of here, man. We are in space. 
Nice. And we get a positive event. Uh, extended battery plus one power for the duration of the mission. Not bad. Because we had the thing where all of the neutral becomes positive. So we actually had a really good chance of getting a positive event. So that was quite kind of nice. That's a useful thing. And the Hermes gets more reliable. Very nice. Okay. Achieve Earth Orbit. No drift or anything. We just need to get there. And we need 16, 12, and 14. We have five turns and four commands each turn. All right. So how about we use two of our crew for manual data collection, then use a crew and two of those comms to get the conduct experiments, which gives us five data. Then we can... So the ground control connection is two data for two comms and two nav, but the orbital realignment is one data for two nav and one comms. So the ratio is better on the orbital realignment. So that gives us four, three, and four. And I think I'm okay with that. Nice. A little bonus there. Good job, astronauts. Got an extra. Nice. Another bonus. So that's an extra comms and an extra nav that we got so far. Not bad. All right, we get a failure. Fair enough. Uh, we'll... We'll resist that. And the second orbital realignment went well. So 544 four we're at. Okay. So what we could do is do an external sensor alignment. And then two data transmissions, I think. That gives us 10, 5, and 4. Actually, let's go back one and then do the manual data collection and the conducting of experiments as well. That gives us 8, 11, and 5. Confirm that. Nice. Another bonus, an extra nav. Not bad. Nav is where we are behind a bit. Manual data collection went well, and the conducting of experiments went well as well. Nice. So 8, 11, and 6 we have. So I think I want to do this. And then I might do a flight path control. That gives us 13, 13, 8. And then I think two flyover course adjustments maybe to get us up to where we need to be on the nav. Then we just need a bit of uh, comms next time. I think that'll be fine. Confirm that. Nice. Another bonus. And what do we get? We get an extra data. And that went well. Final course adjustment went well. And the flyover course adjustment went well again. So that basically means that we can do data transmissions twice, and that gives us our bonus reward. So that takes us to 19, 12, and 14. So all good. Let's do that. Nice. All right, we are in orbit. And then we need to perform a controlled re-entry where we need to contend with a bit of heat. 
All right, so two heat will be generated at the start of the next turn. We need to keep it below three. So we can do the manual data collection and then the experiments. That takes us down to one. Then we need 20 and 20. Wow. We again have five turns and four commands per turn. I think two orbital realignments would be good. That gives us four, four, and three. Let's do that. Accept that. Nice, a little bonus there. Gives us an extra calm. Nice. Oh, a little failure. Oh, that's too bad. All right, well, I think we'll resist that. And the orbital realignment went well. We'll get up to three heat. Which is fine, because then we can use the ground control connection here. Take it all the way down. And then we can do a manual data collection and a flight path control. That takes us to 12 and 8. And then we can do... An orbital realignment to take us to 13 and 10. Let's do that. We have plenty of time to complete this. Nice, another bonus. We're having pretty good luck here. An extra data. Nice, another bonus. Wow. We're getting pretty lucky, which gives us an extra calm. Not bad. And then a little... A little bump in the road there, but that's okay. We will resist it. We have the power for it. That gives us 14 and 10. Now we could do this to bring power or bring the heat down, but I don't think I want to. And I don't think I want to because I want to take this one next time. So, why don't we do a manual data collection, a flag path control, and then two orbital realignments. That should get us to where we can finish up next time. So, confirm that. Oh, a little hiccup. That's okay, we'll resist it, because we need the crew for the next task. And then we'll do orbital realignments. Ah, I think we'll resist, because what we need to do next time is we need to do the ground control connection. That takes us to 18. Then we can do the flyover course adjustment and recharge some power. And we recharge two power because we have the bootstrapper with us. So I think that's good. That gives us our bonus. And we are within the margins of the heat. So there we go. We are back home. Oh, wow. I hadn't seen that before. I don't think. Cool. Oh, that is so nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Man, that's cool. That is so cool! Alright, uh, we get our rewards, 885 support, 471 science for four months, but we get a lot of 
um, uh, well, uh, relationship or relations with uh, NASA, and we get the improved guidance system. Not bad. These guys will recuperate for six months. Now, we already have two very long-term missions going. It's 14 months until the next phase here. And there's two months until launch for that one. So I think I want to do something a little bit shorter term, even though we do have the Uranus flyby, but it's such a long mission, 109 months. And no one even has this research yet, so we're doing the Saturn flyby where we'll come first. We don't have any milestones here. Well, we have one that's already going and where we're also going to come first. So that's all good. So we need one more milestone mission where we can come first. Do we have any milestone missions that we are, that are open? No. I'm pretty sure we don't. No. We have the Venus well uh, abort. I did not want to do that. And we won't be coming third or above because three others have already done it. The moon, there are no more milestones there. So let's just look at Earth missions. Control systems check and astronaut recovery test. Uh, we're already planning this one. Well, we get more science and more support for the joint mission than we do with the astronaut recovery test. And we get more Mars experience and we get the parallel construction. So we're going to do this uh, joint mission with Japan and we're going to put extra crew on because it's an experimental payload. Build that. And then we have the Jupiter flyby launch in two months. Oh, and we need to design the vehicle here. Uh, it's 30,000 kilos. We could reuse a shuttle. Uh, let's reuse... Oh. Uh, this is cheaper, but not as reliable. With the composite casing. Uh, and this one has advanced guidance system. It's a little bit more expensive. I think we'll go with the Horus. So three months refitting. The composite casing is reduced cost. We have the improved guidance system plus 20% chance of positive event during launch. But we have the advanced guidance system, which neutral event chance is converted to positive events chance. Uh, it is, the payload is quite heavy, so it's going to be cheaper to use the shuttle, that's for sure. No, we're gonna go with we're gonna go with Beetle Beetlejuice. All right, Beetlejuice it is. Confirm, and let's uh, refit the shuttle. That'll take four months. We're getting eleven hundred and thirty-five science at the moment. Uh, what did that do for our diplomacy? We're almost up to being allied 
The agency is friendly with NASA. We need to be allied. I'd like to be allied with NASA, so we're going to be looking for joint missions with NASA. Uh, what's this? That's the polar analysis, okay. Well, next month, and we are launching our Jupiter flyby! And we're going to be coming first on that. Launch reliability is pretty decent. Uh, payload reliability is good. And the science is very nice. And the weather is terrible. That's bad conditions. Uh, I think we're going to launch anyway, though. 8% risk of blowing up. And I want to launch anyway because it's Jupiter, so I... As far as I recall, it, it was... A long time until we, we could launch again, and we want to come first. It's looking good so far. It's looking good so far. Oh yeah, we're out of here. We are on our way to Jupiter. Unfortunately, we get minus one power for duration of mission. That kind of sucks. But our booster and our upper stage get a little bit more reliable, which is a good thing. And let's see, we need some thrust. 8 comms, 12 nav, and 15 thrust. We get 5 thrust per time we hit this. So we need to hit it 3 times on the last turn. We have 6 turns and 3 commands per turn. And we need to have 6 data and 3... Excess nav. So we need to get to 15 nav. Alright. Well. How do we start? We do a signal attenuation test. Then we do a manual thrust adjustment. And then we boost our transmission. That gives us seven and two. I think that's an okay start. Signal attenuation test was good. Manual thrust was really good. Gave us an extra nav. Nice. But, oh, we didn't really succeed in boosting the transmission, but we'll help out and get that done anyway. Okay. So, seven and three. So, we can do two manual thrust adjustments. Then we can boost the transmission. That takes us to nine and ten. The next turn, we'll get up where we need to be with this stuff. And possibly get the data that we need as well. Let's confirm that. We have plenty of time. This should be a piece of cake to get these, this 50% bonus reward, I think. I still have four turns remaining. So if we do this twice and then this, that takes us way above where we need to be. Then we can do this twice next turn, which gives us the data that we need and recharge our power. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're easy peasy. Easy peasy. Ooh, and a little bonus there, which actually gives us a data. So what we can do now is do this twice. That takes us to nine data. And this, that leaves us with the three extra nav that we need. We have more than enough data, so confirm. And next round, we will just take it with our 50% bonus. 
So one, two, three. 50% bonus reward. We're at nine comms, 12 nav, 15 uh, thrust, and we complete it with a turn to spare. Very nice. And no matter what, we'll just resist it. We have more than enough uh, power. We don't even need to, because we could just accept and and we'd still uh, do it. But that's fine. We'll resist. And everyone is on their feet. Nice. So we are on our way to Jupiter. That's 455 support and 104 science for 20 months. All right. Uh, we don't have any new mission slots available. Uh, we have a new request mission here. Infrared Observatory. Wow. 8,880 science. Over 120 months, though. But that's nice. We're doing that. All right, so the Beetlejuice is complete in two months. Then the Skylab is complete in four. And we have the funding review in six. All right. Let's just continue on. And the orbital way station vehicle is complete. The Beetlejuice and suboptimal launch windows become optimal launch windows. Nice. Launch reliability is nice, 83%. The payload reliability is good. We will bring a. Let's see, do we get science for this? I'm pretty sure we do. So we'll bring a scientist. We'll bring. A celebrity and a problem solver. Confirm. And we'll do science. Yeah, that's a lot of science. We need that science. And the launch date will be... Let's do January, then we have February in case. Actually, let's do December. Because then we get it done before, uh, but it doesn't matter because we need to get up to 60,000. So let's get the extra science. January. Confirm. Uh, right. China completed modular space station. One second. Japan is launching Jupiter flyby. United Space Nerds completed. Okay, so... Let's just check our research here because that scares me a bit that they did that. They completed that. So we need, let's go check the milestone missions here. Modular Space Station 2, no one has the research yet, but we have done this and China has done this. We need to start researching this as soon as we can which will be in a while right, new request mission available on mercury core science not bad not bad okay skylab is complete astronaut absalom mendez has retired and will no longer be available for missions what i hope he wasn't assigned to a mission Upgrades have no points requirements, uh, plus 100% upgrades cost, okay. Let's design the vehicle. We can reuse the shuttle, the Horus. 98% launch reliability, 55% payload reliability. I am okay with that. 378,000. We could go with advanced shock, shock absorption to give us... It's only 5% payload. Nah, let's just do this. Uh, no, we'll do it ourselves. Three months fitting time, 378,000 because Japan is floating half the bill more or less. 
Let's refit that. Mm. What did we lose? Did we lose... Uh, we lost our... Cele no, the, our celebrity is there. I'm not even, not even sure. Jetty, as you will be retiring in a few years. Well, less than two years. We'll rename someone else to Jetty when, when that happens. Uh, advanced electrician. Start each task with plus two power. That is nice. But we'll hire people as uh, we need them. Let's continue on to the next month. And uh, we have a new request mission on Mars. Phobos photography. Okay. Ooh, and that's a diplomatic mission. We really want to do this one. Next month. Okay. We didn't get a whole lot of support this time. And we are launching our orbital way station. Let's go ahead and do that. It's experimental fuel, but we have pretty decent launch reliability anyway. Only 3% risk of going boom. Let's go. Let's go. Looking good. System's nominal. Oh yeah. We are going to space. We are going to space. Beautiful. And we get the positive event plus 10% payload reliability for duration of mission. Nice. And the Hermes is already maxed. Not bad, guys. We need to deal with some drift. We need 49. Wow. And the drift doesn't do anything at the end of each turn. We have six turn, three commands per turn. So we'll start with one of these. And then we'll do a flight path control. And then we'll do an orbital plane adjustment. So the best way to get data is actually this, but it pushes our drift four. Oh, it's not data that we want, is it? It's uh, nav. So the best way to get nav is this, which we need data for. Alright, well, we'll see how it goes. Ah. Alright, well, we'll assist that. And we'll accept that. Okay. What can we do to get... Hmm. If we do the manual data collection, then we can do the gyroscopic stabilization once. And then we can do another orbital plane adjustment. That takes us to 20. That's not too bad, and we are still within our margins. Okay. Now. If we do this. Then we need. To do this. And then we can do this.
that takes us to 25. But it gives us a lot of data that we can use on this for a while. And we can do this thing, the gyroscopic stabilization, next time as well. So let's go ahead and do this. Ooh, just... Ooh, just again. All right. So we can do the gyroscopic stabilization. And... Then I think I want to recharge power twice. We still have two turns remaining after this. I think this is okay. Because now we can basically do this three times and get the bonus reward. Be within our margin. We just can't resist anything. Well, we can resist once. Nice. That's it. Achieved Earth Orbit. Done. Next, we need to deploy the space station systems. Let's do that. 13, 20, and 8 we need. And again, we have drift. This will fluctuate from minus 1 to 1. And we're starting at 1, and we need to be at 0. So we need to bring this back. So... Kinda need to do this. Get that back. That gives us one, three, and two. We have six turns and three commands a turn again. Uh, and let's do a flight path control. That gives us two, five, and four. And we are right in the middle. Nice. All right, what's it going to do? It pulls us one over to this side. Which means... We kind of need... To do this. So the... The nav is actually the hard one to get. So 13, 17, and 3. I think that's okay. Oh, no, it's not. What the frick? I need to go two over that way. Then do the manual data collection. And then an external sensor alignment. That gives us 3, 11, and 4. And we're aligned. Okay. Okay, and it takes us that way again. So we need to do one of these two. Let's do that. And then we can do that and that. It gives us 14, 13, and 3. Actually, I think I'd rather do this. And then maybe hit this. And this. 9, 12, and 5. I think that's okay. Ah. What happens? Alright, I guess we'll resist. All right, that took us the other way. Which means we have to use to nab to push us that way in order to push us one back. Or pull us one back. And then 
I think that to get us closer to the nav goal. Damn it. Uh, we'll resist that because we can't afford drift to do anything. All right. That pulls us that way. Which means we need to use one of these. We have two turns remaining. That actually gets us there, and we are zero drift. And we get 13, 22, and 8. Perfect. Let's do it. And we can resist the last one if needed. It was certainly not needed. Very good. We are done. Nice. That is a lot of nice support. 3,702 support and 318 science for 25 months. That is very useful. And Bruno, Rossi, and Cabone are now stuck on the space station for a while. All right. Now, we have a mission slot, and we want to do this Mars mission together with the Americans. Because we want them to be our allies, and this will take them up to be our allies. So let's do that. Uh, we will stick some in extra power on there. That payload that'll take three months all right but we are out of time guys so uh, we will have to continue on in the next one so thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time